Hi, my name is Holly Jackson. Today we'll be exploring Pear Deck. Pear Deck is an extension that can be used to make interactive presentations for your students. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking on our logo during the video. Also give us feedback or check out our related videos by clicking the pop-up cards in the upper right hand corner. To start with Pear Deck, you want to open up a brand new Google Slide. Google Slides um, has add-ons at the top up here, and you'll want to add Pear Deck as an add-on. So to do that, you would just go to Get Add-ons, and Pear Deck usually pops up right here, but if it doesn't, you can just search for Pear Deck. I've already installed it, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started with Pear Deck. So I'm going to come over here to my add-ons, and I'm going to open the Pear Deck add-on. What Pear Deck will allow me to do is it will allow me to insert slides into my presentation that will allow my students to interact with me during my presentation. Pear Deck does a really great job of having a slide library over here on the right hand corner so that you don't have to come up with all the slides on your own. So I'm going to tap on beginning of the lesson. Notice that they have several different slides that I can choose from. So I want to start with an activating prior knowledge question. When I click on the slide, it will automatically insert the template slide. What do you want to know about today's topic? When I present with Pear Deck, my students will have the option of typing their response. So you see right here where it says this is a Pear Deck text slide. That means my students will be able to type on that slide. I'm going to add another one. This template slide allows my students to draw on the slide, so you can see that it's a drawing slide. It says draw or type two things you already know about today's topic. So my students using their touch screen will be able to draw right on the screen. Let me add a couple from during the lesson. Notice that there's a timeline text slide, a multiple choice slide, is a statement true or false, a draggable slide, multiple choice, diagramming, so there's lots of different things that you can do with um, Pear Deck, and they give you lots of really great template slides. I'll insert one more. And then let me add one for the end of the lesson. So I'm going to add another drawing slide. Circle how you were feeling about today's lesson. So if I want to, I can edit these slides as well. So circle how you're feeling about what we learned today. So my students will be able to draw on the slide when I pull it up. Another thing I want to show you is at the bottom, you can create your own um, slides. So if you don't like the templates or they just aren't working for you, you can um, start from scratch down here and do a drawable or draggable slide um, through there. There's also a help feature so you can watch on how to um, use Pear Deck. So I'm going to go ahead and pretend my Pear Deck is done and click on present with Pear Deck. Your students will be prompted to log into their GDOT as well as you. What's really nice is that Pear Deck saves everything in your Google Drive. So anything that you've created in the past, if you have a previous slide, you can turn it into an interactive Pear Deck. So my students now would go to joinpd.com and they would type in this code. After they type in this code, they will join my Pear Deck. So I'm going to go ahead and pretend I have students. And then what I will do from the teacher side is I would go in advance onto my next slide. Notice when I'm presenting, I can cut on the slide navigator so that I can see my slides that are coming up. Okay, I can also click over here and project my students' responses. What's great about this is it will project their anonymous responses. So if you want to show um, like a general consensus of where students are, um, you can do that. You can lock the slide. You also can insert a new question on the fly, so if you need to um, add something in there um, right in the middle of the lesson, you can. And then if you click on the three dots, you also get the option to make it full screen, open it in a dashboard in a new tab, um, open the dashboard on another device, 
and then turn on student pace. Student pace would allow the students to work through the slide deck on their own. Um, the dashboard is where you're going to find all of your data about um, which individual student answered in which way. And I'll show you that in just a minute. So I can advance, take my students through, and they can interact with it. So let's take, let's um, look at the dashboard. So you can see in the dashboard it says waiting for responses, but if I had had some responses about this session, you would see how many students had circled um, the green one, the orange one, and so on. Um, you can look at it in a list layout, a grid layout, or you can look at your data in an overlay, which will show all of the students' answers all on top of each other, which is kind of neat for the drawing slides. So this is a little bit of information about Pear Deck. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow us by clicking on the links below in the description.